Welcome back to my channel, my friends. <sighs> Look, I feel like this is gonna shock no one. I like a carb. You know, me and carbs go way back. I don't know if I found carbs or carbs found me, but ever since, it was just natural. It is so much avocado. So this is meal one. Day one. My breakfast today has no carbs. Hmm. So about a month ago, I tracked everything I ate for a week. It was for a video that I made and it came to about 2,400 calories a day. And that was me just living life normally, maintaining, working out four days a week. And if we just dive a little deeper, I was having about 300 grams of carbs a day. To be precise, it was 303 grams of carbs a day, but let's just say 300. Now, most dietary guidelines all around the world recommend that carbohydrates make up 45 to 65% of our total calorie intake. So this week, I'm gonna maintain my calories at 2,400 to 2,500 calories a day. I'm isocaloric. The only rule I have to live by is that my carbs are coming in under 100 grams a day, which means that at most, at best, my carbs are making up 17, 17% of my total energy intake, and usually I'm at 50 to 60%. Okay, we're scientists, <laughs> except this is not in any way at all science. I just need everyone to be aware of that. I'm just curious. I wanna see whether my strength and endurance performance changes in any way by being on a low carb diet. So I'm starting day one with a strength test. Tomorrow I've got an endurance test. Then I'm taking three days rest. And then on day six and seven, I'll do the same test again. Same test, different day. But again, not science, just controlled curiosity. The next test will be pull-ups. Ready? Yeah. Oh fuck, I wasn't recording. <sighs> Not bad. I'll take that. Okay, so now I wanna do a strength test for my legs. Ideally, I would do heavy squats, but since my back injury, this is the last thing that I actually have like issues with confidence with. So I'm gonna do lunges. I'm gonna chuck the weight up to 80 kilos and see how many reps I can do on 80 kilos. I do feel like you went too light. Going to go to 90? No. I didn't think I was going to get as many reps. Now we're going to do how many press ups can I do in a minute? Okay, it's not that important just so that you, so that you know. Like I'm taking this really seriously. Okay. I have serious adrenaline right now. <laughs> go. Go. So the goal of the assault bike is to hit max power. Oh, that's just to hit max power, actually. <laughs> power, 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 power. 843. How can I do? I think you can go higher. Well, I think you can get 900. Curious. <laughs> the name of your mixtape. <laughs> My mixtape, movie, and book. Book. It's the London Marathon today, and I've chosen to wear my Doc Martens. It could be a big mistake, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. You know. Maybe 
maybe on the off chance, you know. Oh, you low thought carb. this might be low carb? Is that what you're saying? I thought maybe. Wow, that looks so good. Is that low carb? Oh. Oh, wow. It's basically all carb. This is eight grams. Okay, can you afford it? I think I can. That is so nice. It's so peach. It's so peach. That's worth every gram, that. We're in Chipotle. Usually when I come to Chipotle, I'm gonna get a burrito or some rice. I can't do that today. Oh, no veggies. Yeah, no, they're I got no veggies. I'm full, but I'm not satisfied. <laughs> These are all my relatives. Piggy, <laughs> what, what happened? I walked right into a pole. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Uh, PSA, look where you're going. Oh, did you hear it as well? I wasn't looking at you and the sound of it I was like, <laughs> shocked me. I was like, wait, what's that sound? Oh, fuck. It's That's my me. face. <laughs> I've had these Doc Martens for... I want to say now like three years and I've still not broken them in. He's still getting piggybacks. <laughs> Is he still wearing them on long days out? I'm on 62 grams of carbohydrates, so I can only have 38. Mm -hmm. And I'm on 94 grams of fat and 106 grams of protein. I don't want those anymore. <laughs> I think you'll get used to it. This is day one. Day one. Day one is always the hardest. So we're having turkey pesto burgers, courgette, like spaghetti courgette kind of thing. Wow, and then... trying so hard to replicate carb foods. Fresh pasta. So I've got exactly 15 grams of carbs left. Yes, I'm counting to the gram. It's 2,409 calories. But once again, Who's Unsatisfied. Uh, oh, oh who's yeah, counting? who's counting? Okay, I'm just rudely interrupting myself, but London, we're gonna be doing a huge meet up. I'm just really excited to give you guys a hug. It's in partnership with Lululemon because they're gonna be opening their Batsy Power Station store. And we're working our butts off to make this a really special experience. So keep your eyes peeled. End of November, start of December. Good morning, everyone. Today's run day. And I'm having my breakfast. I'm doing like salmon and grapefruit. Usually I have it with a bagel. And Mario's having a porridge, which is also what I would do if I was going for like a endurance run test. It's really sad when I eat for just me. That's like my dream. That's your dream? Yeah. I woke up really hungry this morning. Really hungry this morning. I'm just gonna rack up my calories to about 500 with some peanut butter. Yesterday I had about 200 grams of protein, which is, it's too much. So today I'm just gonna have more fats. Today is the endurance test day. And for the test, I'm gonna just be seeing how far I can run in one hour. And then in five days time, I'm gonna do the same thing. I haven't been doing running for a long time. I'm not even gonna set myself a target because I just don't know. And I don't wanna disappoint myself based on previous runs that I've done when I actually used to run a lot, so. Let's set a little target. I don't know if I want to. Let's set a little one. Now you're adding the press. 11 kilometers. 13. That's too much. I'm just I thinking that muscle running. memory. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, I can still run. It's just that pace, it doesn't come that's back. What, that's like... what I mean. It's like the muscle memory of that pace. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't tell if I've just started my period. It's so hilly. Let's just lower our expectations for speed. Oh, clear for now. My hour starts now. See ya. See ya. Look at that view. I'm happy with my pace, which is good. 1K down. Okay, this is the uphill part. 
Wow, dude, it's so hilly. I'm too hot. Oh, yeah, better. 3K. I'm tasting that salmon. Four kilometers down. 6K. 1 hour 12.53 so I'm very comfortable with like a slow pace for a long time but like it's not the same as that like middle distance speed you know that was nice I'm a little bit suspicious that not having calves for like 38 hours made it maybe harder than it needed to be good job that hill absolutely killed me this one is a savage it's so it, long as well i know look i would love to have some pasta or a lucasade or like the pizza just the dough you know i just the carb part this is my office today work is done I'm seeing my brother in like an hour or two and I wanted to just spend a little bit of me time because I want to get back into my photography I used to really enjoy it and I haven't done it for a long time so I'm gonna go through some old photos that I never got to play around with also everyone has their own styles please don't please don't judge me this is just what I like to photograph okay I got a decaf with no milk, so I had to sweeten it a bit. Not great. <laughs> Sometimes I just scrap all of my edits and I'm like, the original is better. We are best friends. I've just been a bad friend recently. <laughs> you look so smart. So we're going for Five Guys for dinner. I can't even get a milkshake. I also love myself a Five Guys milkshake. Wait, I just realised that I'm actually on 29 grams of carbs. Maybe I could get the fries. Okay, the fries have 39 grams of carbs, which means if I'm doing the maths, I've never done a bunless a bunless burger. I mean, it kind of looks like exactly what you would expect. This is probably gonna really upset Maman, but out of all the cheeses she's made us try for our years, this is, my, this is my favorite one. It's my favorite cheese. I have about 400 calories and guys, 30 grams of carbs. Yes. If you've got some tape and you've got a phone, you're Christopher Nolan. Dude, it's gonna be all cream. It's double cream, but it's like coconut double cream. I've actually had 160 grams of fat today because there's just no other way of me getting those calories in. It's just so much cream. There's more fat in these pancakes than I usually eat in an entire day. 90 grams of fat. Hey, listen, I don't make the rules. They definitely look better than they taste. We're making avocado popsicles. Oh, eyes on your face. <laughs> Now it's just so it's like we're in uniform. Who wore it first? But also, <laughs> I'm not having carbs anymore. Oh, so we're really? going to do. I just. What? But this is. Wait, is it for an experiment? Wait, so am I making what I wish I could eat? I'm going to give her the best carbonara. Carbonara. Oh, carbonara. <laughs> I'll do yeah, zucchini. Zucchini carbonara. Zucchini carbonara. Oh. Zucchini carbonara. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was like, <laughs> no. It's very sweaty. <laughs> no, that's not my sweat, I swear. I swear 
I can have one bite and I feel <laughs> like I'm done with it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm actually done. Yeah, like, like I've had that and I'm done with it. I've had too much. <laughs> I'm actually quite allergic to the avocado. Ah? Uh -huh. How many avocados are in it? About 12. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cauliflower cheese. Wow. Mario made this for me and it looks like it's been made with love. You really do pull out all the stops when we're filming, don't you? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So it's day six now. I've had three rest days. So I'm fully rested. My like willingness to do stuff has kind of disappeared. Like I don't want to be here. I'm going to do exactly the same strength tests that I did on day one. I'm going to give it my best shot. I'm just saying where my mental states are. As soon as I did the first one, I was like, this is not how the first one should feel. I'm gonna redeem myself in the lunges and the push-ups and the power. I'm not gonna let myself be beaten by my carb-loaded self. I mean, what is that? The carbs are just a, they're a myth anyway. It's a Ponzi scheme. I did 20 last time, which means right now, I'm aiming for 60. You know that saying where it's like, if you're not embarrassed with your old self, then you're not growing. Uh -huh. That's how I feel. I wanna be humiliated and only have had five days <laughs> to do it. To do it. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> I don't feel confident. As soon as I lifted that 80 kg bar, I just knew that I was like, it doesn't matter how much I psych myself up for this. If I'm gonna lift heavy weight, I feel like I need to feel confident, well fueled, the well fueling like adds to the confidence and I just didn't want to re-injure my back but I'm not going to count that test. This is where I redeem myself. Go. <laughs> what was that? I could tell from the first one that I was going to struggle. Killed it. Smashed it. <laughs> wow, you've regressed like 30% in a week. <laughs> yeah. That's great performance. Uh, put it there. <laughs> Fantastic. I've never seen results like this. I got to 925. Whoa. You got it higher? Yeah. Okay, this makes up for all three tests. I got 955. Good job. Okay, so it's like 2.45 now, and I have basically finished my work, which is really weird for me, and to be honest, most of the time I would just find more work to fill my time. But in the spirit of like trying to get back into like personal hobbies and to feel like generally more inspired rather than just filling up my time with work, I want to go to a museum before it shuts. Now, Mario's already in London, he's got meetings, and I really want him to come with me. If he comes, if he's there, then she's still got it, you know? Chicken, please. I've got my food, and in the background, I've got the science museum to look at. I used to come to the Science Museum when I was little, all the time. I think this place is pretty much why I fell in love with science. <laughs> she still got it! This is your like dream kitchen counter. I think we should redo the counter <laughs> for this. Pizza. 
at a place that I love getting pizza. But because I'm staying low carb, I'm gonna get the courgette base, which I've never tried before. No dough. We just do courgettes and mushrooms for the ultimate low carb meal. The staff have already explicitly told me it's not a pizza. You fit right in once again. It's like 100% topping. Wow, I am really hungry. Like, I'm actually really excited that I'm having granola and not eggs for breakfast. It's not real granola though, is it? It's believable enough. That. And then on the toast, go on the and toast. And then on the toast. Oh, baby. I'm not even gonna try and deny the fact that I'm actually very happy that it's nearly over. I cannot look one more time at avocado, eggs, smoked salmon, I can't do it. Last night I made some granola. It's just nuts on nuts on nuts on peanut butter. <sighs> so I'm gonna have this granola and that's gonna fuel me for my run test. That's the theory. That's that's the theory. That's what we hope. Let's have some breakfast now. We're having granola, baby. So we're back in the same park. I'm gonna do exactly the same route. Last time I ran 12 and a half kilometers in one hour. This time, I'm gonna try and beat it. It's a beautiful day. It is a nice day. It's so cute. <laughs> that <passion>. one. <laughs> See ya. Okay, coconut granola. Show me what you got. <laughs> wow, this is so much harder. I felt like this when I've been doing like long competitions, like training for like eight hours and then I haven't done my nutrition right and then I hit a wall. That's how I feel, except I'm only like 10 minutes in, 3K. 5K, this is unbelievable. Halfway through, it feels like an hour. That hill behind me. AK. Nine. I've like actually hit a wall. Usually I save a little bit in the tank. I've got nothing. That was so hard. That was so hard. You seem mad. Nah, I just, I don't, I don't have the energy to even like feel. I can't believe what that run was. That run was hitting a wall, except you hit the wall like the moment you set foot. <laughs> oh, feels good to sit. I wanted to make this video because I feel like carbs still in 2022 get a bad rep. First off, quick recap. My energy levels this week totally sucked. Where were they? Where was the energy? I had enough to get by. I just didn't have enough to do more than that. Mentally, I didn't feel any differences around mental focus or clarity or anything like that. But I did catch myself just thinking about food a lot more craving a lot more foods. Normally when I'm going about my normal approach to food, I barely ever crave things. I never think twice about like donuts, milkshakes, like they're there and I know I can have them, but I never think, oh, God, I have one of those. But this week, this week I picked up a donut and the donut looked straight back at me, straight through into my soul, into my deepest, darkest desires and said, I know you want me. Let me be straight. I didn't want to work out. I had very little excitement for working out yesterday and today. I love working out. Why is this so damn heavy? Why does it feel like I'm literally wearing ankle weights when I'm trying to run? And I feel like it's really important to remember that I was isocaloric. I kept my calories the same. Like I was bringing in the same amount of energy 
I just couldn't put out the same amount of energy. And in terms of any other things like bloating, I didn't really notice a difference. But enough about me, because at the end of the day, I'm not, that's not the important thing here. There are still so many opinions around carbs. Carb avoidance is a thing. What I really want to put out there is from looking across the scientific literature, there doesn't seem to be compelling enough evidence that disproportionately targeting carbs is more effective for healthy, sustained fat loss in women. And each part of that is so insanely important because people forget how much has to be proven to make that argument convincingly. First up, we said fat loss. Rather than just blind weight loss, because variation in water retention, glycogen depletion, muscle loss, etc., can cause false positives. We also said healthy. So not compromising your bone health, your menstrual cycle, your hormone profile, your gut health, your mental health, or anything else, because at the end of the day, healthy is what matters. I also said sustained. So if I checked in with you in two years time, did you manage to maintain those results? Because that could really uncover whether there were knock-on effects. It takes a bit of time to realize that actually all of my workouts are shit, or actually maybe my non-exercise activity thermogenesis has gone down, or even muscle loss, which is really important for energy expenditure. Those take a little while to happen. So short-term results don't, don't always equal long-term results. And also specifically in females, because a lot of the research is done in male-only test subjects, and then assumed that that would just carry on to females which, to be honest, is a complete disaster. Now, we would need all of those things to be true to really make an argument for avoiding carbs. And that's why the, the general consensus amongst scientists, and most importantly, registered dietitians, is not to avoid carbs for the general population. Now, I'm not saying that all carbs are created equal, that they all have the same micronutrient profile or the same enjoyment factor. This is just your friendly reminder to be very picky around who you get your dietary guidance from. Registered dietitians, registered dietitians, and yeah, registered dietitians. If the general consensus amongst registered dietitians changes, it probably means we've got some new science and maybe we do have proof that all of those things are true. I'm just saying, stay fussy. <laughs> and so on that note, there's something I've been waiting to do all week. 